Here we're uh, looking at CSUN. We got out here around 89 cents, right near the prior high for the uh, the prior move. That makes perfect sense to me as it's trying to rally back a little bit. You can see it hold the prior days, uh, the uh, previous day's uh, bar, uh, but overall, uh, I think it has a lot of potential. I just think what we're really seeing is some uh, some good sell-off in the marketplace or at least some uh, some shifting here and this could really do well or we can really come some of these can really slam back for us but I think we've done pretty well with some of them so I like I said I think it's foolish to uh, try not to to lock in some of these gains and I'd rather do it in this kind of unpredictable type of market environment and then we can re uh, position accordingly and find some new winners and uh, based upon what's the uh, longer term projection or market uh, right now we're starting to see some of these smaller caps and even mid caps have a hard time uh, gold and silver have ran a lot of their course so uh, for the short term anyway and uh, so I think it just made sense so I was my it was my hopes that these would continue to break to the upside as they were more speculative um, but uh, they and they did real well actually uh, so I can't be too upset oh, we did rather well with this it was up about uh, we, we locked it in around uh, 28 almost 29 percent here so not too bad we really got a great entry in here uh, we see it stalling a little bit this is one that could backfill and then take off so keep that in mind I don't want to you know a, a, again this is more of a protective type of scenario based upon this and to me it's not a horrible thing to be chopping away at these kind of situations look at what we've been doing here you know you find you find one here that's in February 6th and uh, you know almost a month and a half uh, you know we're almost two months we're taking two trades 128 and then one at 36 so not bad here you know that's I think the nature of the game uh, that's uh, 60 you know 67 percent return in the two trades so you know a lot of times people see them break and they you know they see them do real well and that's that's all well and good but there's risk associated sometimes sitting in there too long uh, the greed sometimes has a way of doing that but I still what's concerning a little me with this is this is real nice one wave we saw the nice correction and we saw that great return with the other one uh, uh, the HQCL and try to rally a little bit today hit my older target um, so you know maybe this has still a little more bite in it so uh, those that are still a little nimble and want to make sure when you do it do a very tight stop anything under this 50% I would probably be gone because I do think it would test this and possibly break that low maybe go into a deeper kind of corrective action you know something something like that so watch for that if that's uh, you know what you're thinking of doing.